Hey, I'm Julie Lynn Moray and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do fish three ways. Cajun, Asian, and lemon caper. It's so simple because we're gonna put them into a full packet and pop it in the oven. No cleanup, your house is not gonna stink. You're gonna love me for this recipe. Let's get started. Cheers. All right, let's get started with the first recipe. We're gonna do it Cajun style. This is super easy. I'm gonna cut it just into a big enough piece for my husband. And then I'm going to place a couple pieces of butter, probably about one to one and a half tablespoons on the bottom. I'm gonna season it. With this Cajun seasoning, I like it. It's not spicy, but it's very tasty and it's not too salty. So we're gonna get all the sides. You can be very generous with the seasoning. Okay, ready? I'm gonna put that on top of the butter. Then I'm gonna put another two thin slices of butter on top. Let's see if I can do this. My hands are so gross right now. All right, and then I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of lemon. You don't have to use lemon if you don't like it, but my husband prefers it, so we're gonna do just a little bit, just a couple drops. Now it's time to fold it up. You wanna create a little bit of space so that it can kind of steam and cook in its pieces. So you're gonna bring it up like a little triangle and then fold over the top. You can also do this with parchment paper, but I feel like sometimes foil is easier to, easier to work with. And then we're gonna close the side. So I'm gonna press this down and fold it up. And fold this up. And believe it or not, that's it. We're gonna pop this in the oven with my other three. All right, our next one is the Asian style one. This is a Cantonese um, recipe. It's my favorite. They usually do it at weddings, um, but I've learned to make them in this foil versus a wok, and that eliminates a lot of the cleanup, which is what I like. You have a piece of tin foil that's big enough to um, hold the fish. And then we're gonna cut the scallion. You need to cut it into julienne pieces. So we're So we've got our green onion done. You can leave your cilantro in these little sprigs and not even mess with it. For your ginger, I am, you have to do julienne style um, pieces too. So I'm going to do one little thin cut like this. And then I'm gonna quickly, gosh, I'm trying to take off the skin. Now, if you don't like ginger, you don't have to use it, but it does provide a nice Asian flavor to the dish. But like I said, if you're not a big ginger fan, then look, nobody's gonna judge you. You have to like it. So you wanna cut these as thin as possible. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut the fish. I'm gonna probably do a bigger piece um, for the Asian style because this is my favorite type of fish. Um, so I'm gonna cut off this for the next recipe. I'm using, I forgot to mention, I'm using a silver corvina, which you can get at Costco. It's really good, it's basically sea bass. Um, corvina is usually, um, I used to eat it um, when I was living in Ecuador. And it's, I think it's the sea bass that's caught off the coast of like either Peru or Ecuador. But it's really good, it's white and flaky and very, very mild. If you can't find it, then you can get any fish that is white, mild, and flaky. So, okay. I'm gonna put a couple of these pieces on the bottom underneath my fish, as well as some of the ginger. Now you can add a little bit of salt to your fish if you'd like. This one has soy sauce, so I think it's gonna be okay, but I love salt. I'm obsessed with it, so I'm just gonna put a little bit. And then just a couple of these pieces too. I'm gonna put the fish on top and then do the same thing on top of it. Ginger, 
some cilantro, and then time to make the sauce. Okay, now it's time to make the sauce. We're gonna use some gluten-free soy sauce um, and some oil. So I'm just gonna put about maybe a tablespoon of soy sauce and some olive oil. And I'm gonna whisk it. Okay, once you get it to this consistency and it's all nicely blended together, you're gonna pour it over here, over the fish. And that's it. Now, time to close it up. Remember, you wanna build a little triangle so that it can steam within here. Through the ends. And this is our Asian one. We're gonna put it next to our Cajun one. We're gonna put the oven at 400 and make our last one, which is our lemon caper. And for my last one, I'm gonna do it in a lemon butter caper, but I call it lemon caper. Um, I'm being completely honest when I tell you when I make fish for my family, which is basically Blake and I because my kids don't eat fish, this is what I make because I can't decide. He wants Cajun, I want Asian, but we both love a lemon butter caper one. So, so we're gonna put the butter down first. Again, just a couple pats of butter. Oh, sorry about that. A couple pats of butter. And then we're going to put the fish on it. I might need more butter than that. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a little bit of salt. I'm do a little bit more butter on top. The butter and the lemon go so well together. You can actually do this recipe for chicken. Um, You'll see. And then some capers. Just a couple. If you've never had a caper, they're really salty, lemony, and kind of tastes like an olive. So just sprinkle this however much you like. I like a lot of capers. And then we're gonna put some lemon on it. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be about a tablespoon, but. Now the butter is going to help neutralize some of that acidic lemony taste, as well as the saltiness from the capers. But after that, it's time to close it up. The, these three recipes should take you under, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to make. Um, I'm gonna pop them in my Breville it takes about 12 minutes at 400 for them to be cooked perfectly, but everybody's oven is different, and it also depends on how thick your fish is. So you're gonna have to play it by ear. It might take 15 minutes in your oven. Mine takes 12, maybe 20 minutes, I don't know. All right, let's pop them all in. That's my lemon, my Asian, and my Cajun. Set my timer to 12, and that's it. Okay. They're done, it's been 12 minutes. Let's take them out and see how they look. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. All right. Okay, there we have it. Fish three ways, all keto friendly, all gluten free, as long as you use gluten free ingredients. And we have the Cajun, the Asian, and the lemon caper. Enjoy, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I do listen to your comments. A lot of you had asked me to make easier meals, so here you go. It doesn't get easier than this. <laughs>